Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19. With me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 10th of December and we have new mods. We also have a load of updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Dongreville PE32 by Simulagri Modding, the Farmhouse by Diesel Hirsch, the Biomass Heating Plant by Diesel Hirsch, the VSTR UK HY400 by Vanquish081 VSR Modding Sur, the Petro Farm Gas Station by Team IWMM, the Field Shelter also by Diesel Hirsch, the Open Cow Pasture by Dirty Tractor Doctor, the Sosnovka Chicken Pen by AW Modding ABP Team, from the top again, the Goldcrest Valley Chicken Pen by Adub Modding, Westbridge Hills by Vanquish081, Hagenstead by Vanquish081, La Coronea and La Coronea 2.0 by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sir, ER Shabba Toy Mateo VSR Modding Sir, and Welcome to Blue Mountain by TNT Modding have all had updates today. This may not actually be posting until first thing Friday morning, it depends on when I get it finished and how long it's going to take to actually upload. Uh, but these are mods from Thursday the 10th, and we're probably going to get more if this is posting Friday morning on Friday too. Straight in with it then, in front of us we've got the Lighted Candy Cane Pack. This is by Dash Modding. It is 1.44 megabytes of download. They are one slot each, and you'll find them under decoration. We've got a medium and a large, and I think these ones when they light up are green, red and white. And then we've got a medium and a large, or large and a medium, of just red and white. We are going to come back around to these right at the very end. I'm going to skip through to the night so we can see these lit up. But as I said, you'll find these under placeables, under decoration. So yeah, medium, red, white and green lighted candy cane, medium and large. And then we've got a large and medium red and white lighter candy cane 50 pounds euros or dollars each to place so that's by dash modding something a bit festive if you want to add it to all the christmas trees and snowmen and other things we've got going on at the moment very nice indeed next to those we've got this this is the street light pack this by green bale 0.52 megabytes of download these are also one slot each I think these were under decoration too. Again, we'll come back around to these when it gets dark so we can see them lit up. There are no light switches on these. But very nice and detailed. You get a little patch of grass below it, although it's flat texture rather than actual grass itself. That one's got a double light front and back. Yeah. I say, we'll come back and have a look. But these you will also find on decoration. So we've got Streetlight 1, the overhanging one, for a thousand. Streetlight 2, that's got the double lights on it, for a thousand. Streetlight 3, the tall, uh, kind of, it's not L shaped, but it is another overhanging, but slightly different. And then Streetlight 4, each one a thousand, each one, one slot each. So those are the Streetlight pack by Green Bale. Next up, we've got this. This is the Hay Shed for the Farm. This is by Tensbeck. 0.94 megabytes download, one slot on console. It's a, a fairly basic corrugated shed. There's no lighting in it. Textures look nice when I mean, you see the sunlight shining off it. It's got a metallic kind of look to it. Partially open with a bit of cover in here. This also has got a flat texture. It doesn't have actual grass or a concrete base or anything like that. But you should be able to landscape or texture up to it with grass if you wanted to do so. This you'll find under placeables, under sheds. There you go. Uh, it is 4,000 to buy. And like I say, that's only one slot as well. Not too bad so far. Moving on, we have got this. I need to make sure I get the right one. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Lajta? The Lajta Plough. This is by Tarxy007 and Unorby. 1.65 megabytes to download and three slots on console. This is a, I think it's a 1.3 meter plow. Comes on a couple of pallets, uh, but when you hook it up, those pallets disappear. I think we can have this one in red and blue as well. 
as with most plows you'll find you can also create fields it will give the option allow create fields so you can extend your fields or make new ones using this plow should you wish to do so this you'll find under tools under plows there you go the Lagita 2000 to buy requires 65 horsepower to pull it will run at nine miles per hour yeah 1.3 meters and we can have it in red or blue like so So as we hook up the pallets will disappear and away we go and if you look at the help menu to the left if I raise up at the ground and then do L1 it does give me option there by pressing triangle to create fields if I wanted to like I say to extend a field or to plow out a new one if I want to so sorry if I appear to be rattling through these, we've got quite a few to get through today. So that's the Lagita Plow by Tarxi007 and Unorbi. Just gonna drop that there. Has that stayed in the ground? Oh that's a bit worrying. So rather than lower it, you just have to detach it and it will do the pallets, okay? Good to know. Uh, next up we have got another well this is a pack of plows actually. This is the famed a plows. I don't know supposed to be framed. It does say famed definitely in the thing. Famed A plows. These are by uh, Game Master. 4.18 megabytes download. Let's look up to one channel. Uh, four slots on console for, I think, for each one of them. It starts with a three. I think we have a three, four, five, and six furrow plow. I've gone for the six. Now, it says A plows. Now, as you saw when I just looked up to it, it says automatic. I'm not quite sure what that means, whether or not it doesn't look like. Does that rotate at the head? I know it does open. So if I do L1 fold plow, it moves it open like that. Maybe that's what it means by automatic. Let's hire a worker and see what it does, shall we? It actually puts it back into that position. Help us not complete their task. Don't talk absolute rubbish. And I think these start at 1.5. It's 1.5 or 2 or 2.5. And maybe it starts at 1 metre. I wonder then, if I open the plough, when it says fold plough, that's not really folding it, it makes it even wider. Will it let me drop that and operate it wider? It will. That's interesting. So if I hire a worker, it puts it narrower. If I fold it, which I would have put more as an unfolding it opens it out a bit. This also will give the option to um, create fields if you want to create fields yeah, I'm not imagining that, am I? I'll drop that down now I'll lift it and do that yeah, it's almost like we lose an entire furrow or two, really Oh. Well, there you go. I would, well, unfold it. Although it says fold, I would unfold it. So, this you'll find. Let's drop that down. Under plows. There you go, the automatic plow. 55 horsepower required. Again, the, the website's a bit mis well, I say it's misleading. That's a three plow, and that says 2.5, a three, yeah, a three plow. And that's just 2.5 metres. That's the 4 plough, but it still says 2.5. That's a 5 plough, and still says 2.5. And that's a 6 plough. I'm pretty sure it goes 1, 1, 5, 2, and 2.5, it said in the, in the uh, mod tab. There's no colour choices or anything like that. You get it as is. And it will run at 7 miles per hour. So there you go. That's the famed... A plows by Gra uh, Game Master. Moving on from that, we have got this. This is the uh, well, get sorry, Bandirante Rasta or Rasta H9. This again, I thought that's a sub, that's a subsoil. Look at it, sub, that's also under plows, but they are definitely big old chisels, aren't they? Really nicely detailed, big old unit. It's over. Five meters. I will double check 
we have a look in the store this is 6.7 megabytes download 13 slots on console this is by connect modding I don't think there's any color options I think you get it like this and I'm pretty sure it's also under plows yeah there we go 28,000 340 horsepower required it will run at six miles per hour and it's a 5.8 meter plow now unlike some subsoilers that will give you a plowed state but it will look like cultivating this one actually it raises up on wheels as well this is although it attaches on trailer hitch it doesn't put all that weight on the three point or anything like that it does have wheels for transport it doesn't fold up though it just lifts up again we can create fields of this if we want to lower it down to the ground and there you go it gives you a ploughed state and a ploughed look very nice indeed so again that's the Bandarante Rasta H9 by Connect Modding next up we have got a little fertilizer spreader now unlike some that we've had in the past or have we had recently this is just a fertilizer spreader it's not a fertilizer and lime spreader which we have had a few times I'll just get to it if I can I've lost it on my list as well it will tell me when I cut it the lizard FS60 dash 2 or slash 2 this is by Ostry, 6.83 megabytes download. It's eight slots on console. It will spread out to 24 meters. It's fairly small. I think you can have this as a 600 or a 750 liter capacity. Quite a, a wide spread width for the size of the actual piece of kit. This you'll find under tools and fertilizer technology. There you go, the FS60 slash two three thousand two hundred to buy requires 50 horsepower runs at 12 miles per hour and it only does fertilizer we do have the option to change the main color to any one of those three like so design color any one of those changes the framework and then capacity 600 or 750. Unfold it? Outrageous! Not too many to unfold. Let's have a look and see what unfold. Oh, is it just move a lever? L1 and X. Yes, it moves the lever across under there somewhere. Is that just moving? There we go. There we go! And there we go. We are spreading out to 24 metres with our fertiliser. Excellent. Right. What I'm going to do now is go across, I think. Next we've got this. This is the Petro Farm Sale Station. This is by Team IWMM and Jason Farias, I think it is. 1.73 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. This goes with the Petro Farm uh, fuel station, but this is a fuel cell point. So you can, you know, if you've got a surplus of fuel, um, you can bring it here and sell it if you want to. Nice bit of detail, bit of, you know, bit of dirt and grime on the doors and stuff like that. Now we do have a trigger point both sides. So I'm assuming you can sell both sides. I thought it was only one side. I've just noted the, noticed the hazard markings. So what we'll do, it should come up with the trigger option to unload or to sell. There we go. We are selling and making money. Let's swing around and see if it does the other side too. Yep, you can sell both sides. It should show up as well in this as a sell point. Uh, where are we? Yep, Petro Farm, second one down. Will it actually put a price up there for fuel? That's not bad, 2,928, does that say? For a 1,000 litres. 
so pretty good price wise like I say if you've got a load of fuel that you want to sell it might come in rather handy this you'll find under placeables and I think this was miscellaneous pretty sure it was there you go selling station 2 35,000 to buy and like I say 16 slots on console for a fuel sell point that is by Team IWMM and Jason Farias. Moving on, uh, let's do the buildings over here. These are the shed 15 by 19. There are three of these in the pack. 7.25 megabytes download. They are by Holtz FS. We've got three slots, four slots, and four slots. Um, nicely detailed, nicely textured. Again, a fairly flat, well, a fairly flat, it is a flat grass texture, and unlike usual when we get in concrete bases, this is grass all the way through. Triggers for the doors are a little bit finicky. There we go. Just right up against the gate right, to get to it, or the door. Grass all the way in, only opens one end. We do have lights in here. And we do have a light on the outside just there. We do have a light round here above the door. And the light switch for all of that is just there on this one. This side door does open as well. Nice bit of storage. Not a bad size at all. Now the difference between 1, 2 and 3 on here is on this one, it's the same building here. But we have a side kind of carport sort of overhang addition on the side. Which has got a separate light switch just there. The rest of the building is the same with the doors opening there and a light switch for the rest of the building there. And number three is the same, but it has that side section on the other side of the building instead, over there, and the light switch too. If I can go to it, there we go. It's just there. Like I say, nicely detailed. Lots going on. Um, the slot count, did I say what the slot count was on those? Yeah, three, four, and four. Not too bad, actually. These you'll find on the place of alls and sheds. So the first one is 50,000, second is 80, third is 80. Three slots, four slots, four slots. And you get what you get. Not bad. Moving through the gap. So, uh, yeah, that was by Holtz FS. Next through here we have got the old wooden shed but well, there are three in this pack as well 18.59 megabytes download this is by pascal t we've got two buildings i mean in essence all three are i say the same the same basic structure this one's got an enclosed shed that one's open all the way through i think that one is five slots that one's four Nice bit of detailing around it. I'm assuming the light's in here. I think there's a light up there. Oh, maybe it isn't. I thought it was... A... No, it's not. Just a beam. No wonder I couldn't find a light switch. There is one there, though. Maybe it's automatic. Couldn't find a light switch. Nice brickwork. Nicely detailed. I love the little bits where you've got your little slat and a few broken here and there. Nice detail on that. A few bits around the side and then a covered section out here, too. That one is the open one all the way through. Again, really nicely detailed, nicely textured. And this one on the end is a workshop. So the same as the first one, pretty much. But inside, we've got some workshop stuff with the workshop icon for maintenance, repair, and selling, that kind of thing. For your vehicles. Very nice. Very nice indeed. These you will find, well... The first two you'll find on the placeables and sheds. So the old wood shed and the open shed. 15 grand each, and I say five slots and four slots. And then the tool workshop was under miscellaneous. That one's 20,000, and that's nine slots for that one for the old workshop. But yeah, they're nice, those. By Pascal T. Moving on. We'll get to that building in a little while because I need—I want a vehicle to be able to do a vehicle. Hang on, tell you what I did miss. Whoops. This is the silo distributor fork. Just there. That's by Agrotechnic Nordifel. 
megabytes download, three slots on console. It is a silage fork, it will pick up things, it has a capacity. I thought it might be under levelers, I thought it might be under wheel loaders, it was actually under, I think I found it under front loaders in the end, so under tools, and then we'll go to front loaders. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Yep, right at the end there. Silo distributor fork, 4,100 to buy, 4,700 litre capacity, and it will take your main forage um, types. So I'll do wood chip and hay and straw and grass, and it will do manure, and it will do silage. When we hook on it, we can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so. And then we've got the option to have it attach your front loader, wheel loader, and back again there's not a telehandler one however as i've mentioned a few times on mod reviews depending on what mods you've got downloaded the cs pack and a few of the other ones there are adapters that are available which means you can switch them um around you you know you can put a wheel loader implement on a telehandler and that kind of thing so the fact there isn't a telehandler version isn't too much of a problem if you'll use it for that um, it moves around as you might expect. It picks up like a shovel or a bucket. L1 and X unfolds it, which takes off the cover, the protective cover for transport. L1 and X puts that cover back on again. Like so. There you go. Very nice. So, like I say, we'll get back to that in a minute. We'll get back to the trailers in a minute because we're going to need something to pull the trailers. And that something is this. And all I can say is, wow, I love it. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. This is the TLX 9000 series. This is by Zanarko, 82 squared. It's bought us all sorts of stuff. If you, if you know any of his mods, <laughs> you'll know this thing comes fully loaded. It's 43.61 megabytes download, 32 slots on console for the first one. The detail and options on it are incredible. The sound is incredible it is I mean it depends if you like that style of, of, of lorry truck I do I think it looks absolutely brilliant spikes nuts on there as well look. <laughs> very cool we'll get on to the actual sound and driving it in just a minute but we have to get through these options and there are quite a few so under trucks there you go 81,962 for the base model which is pretty good let's be honest for a base model lorry of any description we can change the rim color now it does say there's a whole load of new stuff on this there's new um color palettes on it as well so for our rim color we've got stainless steel dark steel aluminium chrome and polish but then we've got this one old citadel you got old citadel new uh old citadel new age and then old citadel aged the middle one is more of a satin and the outer one is more of a flat color but we've got that we've got school bus yellow there's a uh, cone orange we've got tiffany blue which is what i think i went for we've got a uh, lawn green We've got some other metallics here, then we come down to the regular kind of um, colour palette. Have a fiddle around, there are loads to choose from, some really nice options in there. And the main colour, we changed, as you might imagine, the main colour. Let's go for cone orange, for example, like so. If I go for the middle one, that gives me a more satin finish, you saw a bit of a shine on that. Very nice. Again, colour palette, there's loads to choose from, have a fiddle around until you find one you like. Design colour changes the roof. And there was a, what was there, a bronze, we've got a white gold, there's a bronze on there as well. Yeah, like I say, again, have a look through, there's quite a few options for colours and new colours in the colour palette. Under configurations, we've got standard, we've got preset one, which changes a load of things. It, it automatically yeah, loads up a load of stuff, if you, if you don't want to trawl around looking for options, but the options to go through are actually pretty cool. If I come off of the standard and then preset one, we've then got on the back a rear hitch we can have on. Or we can have a rear hitch with PTO on the back. It's one of those menus. Or we're back to standard again. So I'm going to put it on hitch with PTO. Then we've got wheel brand. Come on. 
This is driving me mad. There we go. So let's try it again. Stock. Stretched. Stretched double tanks. Lug covers inside those wheel are, uh, inside the wheels. You've then got spiked covers, so it goes uh, like say the wheel nuts and then spiked ones. Agro tires as an option. Back to stock again. Then wheel setup. We get a similar sort of options with run throughs again. But so we've got black center caps, heavy duty, knocking. Knocking heavy duty. Now, depending on some of the other options you might choose, there are it changes these configurations. Again, this is another one I would suggest go through, have a play around because there are quite a few. I've got configurations on standard, but if you change the configuration to one of the other ones, like with the trailer hitch, you then get different options under wheel setup and wheel brand. So there's a load to have a look at. Then license plate, we've got standard, double. I think it's on the front, isn't it? Yep. So we've got standard, double, simple, triple, and back again. We've then got rear fenders. <laughs> there are so many to choose from. Standard, style one, style one main colour, style two, which is a much smoother one, style two in the main colour, style one with work lights, style one. Main colour with work lights, style two with lights, style two main colour with work light or with lights, then back to standard. Bumper, we've got standard, we've got custom, we've got custom with lights, we've got Aussie bumper, we've got Aussie bumper with oversized stickers within that. Back to standard again. We've then got lighting, standard, chicken lights. I couldn't work out where the chicken lights were. If you're a lorry driver, you probably already know what, where and what chicken lights are. Where did they appear? Couldn't find them, but it puts chicken lights on. Uh, you've then got spotlights on the top of the front of the cab. You've got rear work lights that come on the back of the cab. You can then have chicken lights and spots. You can have chicken lights and rear. You can have all. I went with all, I think, on the one I've got. So I've got front spotlights, chicken lights, and rear work lights. You then got air intakes at the moment they're fairly high that's a standard you can have short intakes then we've got the engine setup the TLX T9000 400 I think it's 50 485 horsepower we then go to the 9425 at 580 horsepower the T9525 at 650 horsepower and then back to 485. So highest that will go up to 650 horsepower. Extras, we've got standard, we've got headache rack at the back. Headache rack with lights. Headache rack with strobe. Headache rack with strobe and lights. <laughs> Exhaust, standard. Straight angled, straight. Straight with flappers. Stacks. And back to standard, so a few different options on your exhausts there too. Visors, we can have standard. We can have a drop visor. Drop visor in the main colour. Drop visor in the design colour. Drop visor with lights. Colour with lights. Design colour with lights. And off again. Pfft, told you it was a load. A ton of options. So, now comes the good bit. There is... Um, that when you get in and out let's start this up so beacons you've got beacons above the wing mirrors and if you've gone for the strobe you have the strobe across the back there turn that off lights if you've gone for the various different lights around and lights on the front bumper lights on the visor I think that looks just incredible. Looks like an old fire truck, actually, a little bit like that. Like an American one, not an English one. But uh, headlights, main headlights, rear work lights. So whole lot of options with lights. Horn. Very cool. Let's drive it.
Look at that rolling coal, that's pretty cool. Now, this also has options for on my L1, I've got open cover, which opens both doors. And if I get out, it will close the driver's door, but leaves the other one open. So if you want those doors closed, L1 and close cover will close cover. Uh, I've got to remember which one does what now. Um, L1 and right stick side to side moves the fifth wheel on the back. So depending on what trailer you're pulling, you can bring it a bit further up or push it further back. Now, L1 and right stick up and down, I couldn't find what was changing. So I'm not quite sure on that one. I couldn't find anything. It may be an option that I haven't chosen, maybe. Um, then R1 and right stick up and down puts the windows down. Look at that. <laughs> windows up and down. I do that from InCab, which is incredibly well detailed. R1 and right stick. Even the handle winds up. It does that side too. Wow. Very cool. Let's come back out a second. L1, R1, and right stick side to side. What did that one do? Oh, that was the rear work lights. So I can swivel the rear work lights around. Let's come out a little bit so you can see. L1, R1, and right stick side to side. I can swivel those rear work lights right the way around, depending on what I'm working on and where I want the lights to shine. So very cool. Like I say, in cab, really nicely detailed. That is very, very nice indeed. Now I'm going to whiz down to look at these trailers next. Just look at the time, realizing how much time we've used. And we, I told you we had a lot of mods. I'm going to turn the lights off. Leave that running. So I mean. Very cool. So anyway, that's by Zanarco, 82 squared. <laughs> um, that's just, that's really cool. The, the, the TLX 9000 Semi. Uh, next we have got, I need to find them on my list. This is the SP Dump Trailers. This is by Carl911. 17.12 megabytes download. Five slots and four slots. There are two in this pack. We've got a slightly smaller one, which is that one there. This one is a 16,000 litre, but with little side extensions, we can have it up to 18. This one is a 22,000 litre, and with the side extensions, we can put it up to 25. These are side tips. So when it says dump trailer, it's a side dump. Nicely detailed, few options on these as well. Um, rear tyre on the back, as you can see. It's got the chalk board on the back. We had, um, was it a milk one, a fuel one? It was a, a liquid transport one as well that had this with the chalkboard and when you load it up it tells you what's in it so when you unload it that changes it's a nice detail that nice touch you can have it with decals you don't have to have it with decals but this you will find under tools under trailers there you go so the a sp 22m is the larger of the two 25 grand and like I say, that's a 22,000 litre and up to 25. Takes all those crop types on the bottom there. And these were five slots and four slots. So five slots for the 22M, four slots for the 16M. Options on both are exactly the same. So I'll show you one, but like I say, they're just different sizes. That's all. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette there, like so. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Now we do have the yellow, there's a green, like a foresty green, then an army khaki green, and a dark brown, and then we've got all the regular kind of colours, like so. Then capacity, 22,000 litres, with extensions up to 25. You can have it without fenders, you can have it with rubber fenders, steel fenders, or without again. And then you can have it with, uh, sorry, without decals. Decals back off again the decals are in Russian I think it's Russian on the side and like I say the other one is a 16 and then an 18,000 litre but all the other options are exactly the same on this one so what we'll do is we'll hook up like so lights 
indicators. What we'll do is we'll just whiz this through and we'll dump some of this out. So you'll see that the chalkboard changes as we dump. And I'll come over to the left dump or a right dump. We'll see when it comes up the option. Just trying to look to see if it gave me a. It's a left dump. You should see as that starts to unload. There you go. See the chalkboard changing? Until we get to zero. Nice smooth animation. Very nice bit of kit that. Can I get around there? Probably not. Right, so while we're here, I'm just going to disconnect from there. So that's the SP Dump Trailers by Carl911. So what we're going to do is have a look at this next. This here is the Medium Pull Through Workshop. This is by Dash Modding. 41.59 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. Um, sorry, missed off the bomb bit. Medium Pull Through Workshop with Lift. Um, there are different colours of these in the Mods Hub available. Nicely detailed. Opening and closing doors. It is a drive-through, like it says. It is a medium drive-through. Like so. Light switch is at the end here. Lights on and off. And then what we've also got to the sides here. And here we've got the raised vehicle lift. Now, the trigger for the workshop is this side here on this container, on this um, work uh, bench, work trolley. I put a tractor up on that one and I couldn't get the trigger to recognize it was there. So maybe a larger vehicle that might work, because that is a little bit wider than that one, actually. When it was on that one, it worked fine. It raised up no problem at all. When it raised, de when it raised down, when it lowered, <laughs> raised down, when it lowered, it lowered and it left a little bit of a gap. Once the tractor realised that the ramps weren't there anymore, it then dropped back down to ramps and it came down with them no problem at all. So it didn't say stuck in the air or anything like that. But like I said, the trigger is just down the side here. Now what we've also got, there's a little bit of tape there, or the light, or whatever you want to call it, down the floor there. If we go to the outside, we've got this section here. So much larger vehicles, you can actually bring to the outside here. And within this area... The trigger inside will recognise any vehicles here. But the cool thing about this is, what you can do is come to this box here and hide trigger markers. So it takes those markers away. Should do it inside as well. Yeah, trigger markers have gone. The other thing you can do is around the side here, you've got this one here. It says hide barrels. Press circle. Takes the barrels away. I put them back. That one says action hide side light. Now that is, where was that one? I can't remember where the side light was. But those are designed, if you take the barrels away, and if you take that thing away there, it says in the mod tub, it's so if you want to build other buildings or put this up close to other buildings, it takes away any obstacles and bits and bobs on the side that might cause a problem. So by doing that, it's supposed to work a bit better for placing things. So there you go. Very cool, that. I was going to bring that over and put it up on the lifts, but... Actually, you know what? I might do it on this one. Sorry, I'm just suddenly realised the time. Let's lower that down. I'm just wondering whether a larger vehicle will will register the trigger, or whether the trigger will only work on the outside and that right-hand set of ramps. Doesn't hurt to have a look. He says. I do like as well with this it goes up really high so if you want to sort of simulate do a narrative where you are working under it you can get right underneath the vehicle some of these lifts you get all ramps you can get to work under you can't actually get right underneath that's pretty cool let's try then i don't think it's going to no it doesn't it doesn't recognize one on there uh, what i will do though hopefully it'll work see what i mean and it will suddenly go oh yeah hang on a minute and it drops back down again. 
Well, it didn't do the last bit. Come on. There we go. This you'll find under placeables, under, I think this was miscellaneous as well. So we start off with a blue one, 39 grand, 15 slots, blue, green, grey, red, and white are your options for whichever one you want to go for. So there you go. That's the medium pull-through workshop with lift by Dash Modding. Not bad at all. Moving on. Just looking around. Have we covered all of those? I think we have. We've got this. This is the Lizard T150K. This is by Ross Agrotech. 43.61 megabytes download, 32 slots on console. It's 165 horsepower, I think it is. Very nicely detailed. Look in there. I think we do get everything, all the fan, everything spins when we go as well. There are a few options available on this too. It looks a bit kind of Kirovets ish, a smaller version of. And we can have an air conditioning unit on the top as well, if if you want, if that's your cup of tea. This you'll find under vehicles. This is under vehicles and medium tractors on the end there. 30,150 for the base model, which is pretty good for 165 horsepower. It will run at 18 miles per hour. We can change the main colour to any one of those, like so. We can change the rim colour to then any one of those the hub stays the same color but the rim around it changes and then the design color does the rest of that um, engine cowling bonnet like so and obviously if you want to get them all to match up then you absolutely can then we've got wheel brand we've got the FD14A we've got a I can't actually, is that I, I have, I have 79, I think it is. Sorry, I might have just bumped my mic. Um, and then back to the FT14A. So those are the two options. I think one is just a little bit more tread to it, I think. I, it's very hard to tell. There's not a lot of difference. Then we'll set up. We've got standard. We've got the rims you can see a little bit more. Then we've got twin wheels with connections in like that, like a bolt connection with brackets, or twin wheels with a more standard frame that we're kind of used to, I suppose, in game. And then back to standard again. Equipment selection, we've got standard, or we can have the air conditioning unit on the top. Well, it says conditioner, I'm assuming that conditioner means air conditioning. And then hood panel, we can have yes or no, so you can hide that engine away if you want to. Then we've got, on the back, we've got a three-point link, or you can have it with a tow bar. And then number plate, you don't have to have it, it's, it's, uh, well, you say you don't have to, it says the 2901 is on the back of the cab just there. 2902, 2903, and then you can have 2901 with decals, and that put decals on the uh, front of the engine. So if I go back one, there are no decals there. If I go for it with decals, we scroll through the 2902, 2903, and then back again. So it just changes the number plate on the back of the cab and then adds decals if you want it. Those are the options. Let's hop in. Now, is it just me? Or are they using a chainsaw as a starter motor? It certainly sounds like it. You can see the fan spinning in there as well. Interestingly, when you start it up, when it's making that noise like a chainsaw, it won't drive. It won't go anywhere until it actually kind of kicks into gear. Horn. Lights. In cab. Very nicely detailed indeed. Nice and crisp and clean. turns really nicely it's nice and responsive sometimes with the articulated tractors 
they can be a little bit sluggish on the turn that doesn't seem too bad at all now we do have a couple of options again this is another one one of the options I couldn't work out what it did I'm sure it was on this one if I go L1 I can turn on the PTO actually I need that in the light don't I If I zoom in on the PTO, I don't think you've got a cell, it's like angle. L1 and turn on PTO. PTO starts spinning. Yeah, L1 and R1, and then right stick up and down. But I can't work out anything that moves. I've been around this whole thing. L1, R1, right stick up, right stick down can't see anything that's moving. Again, some of those things that's glaringly obvious, maybe, but I can't. I did wonder if it was when you've got an implement on the back. Does it manually pick it up and put it down? I don't know. R1, R1. No, it's not that. Oh no, how very strange. But there you go. Very cool that. Not too expensive. Nice details, nice options. That's the Lizard T150K. And that's by Russ Agrotech. Which I think, if I've got this right, and I, I may have missed something, I hope I haven't. That takes quite some time to turn off. We've got this. This is the New Holland T5 Utility Series by Blauer. 16.8 megabytes download and 14 slots on console. Another very nicely detailed, crisp and tidy mod from Blauer. Some nice options available. I went for the twin narrows because I thought it looked rather, rather cool. Very nice. This you'll find under vehicles and small tractors. There you go, on the end. 71 grand for the base model. Uh, 14 slots, as I've already said. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Silver voice looks pretty good in the blower range of colours. There's that green. I quite like that as well. It's a foresty green. Change the rim colour to anything on there. There's the blue power, so it gives you almost like a silver silvered grey rim fear agri cream sort of color black that looks actually quite nice like that or yellow then design color changes the seats inside at the moment they're on blue black red and then green and with the main color there is a blue power so if you want to go for the blue power option you can go for a blue power in there too Options for Will Brown, we've got Trelleborg, we've got Michelin, we've got Knockin and back again. Under Trelleborg, we've got standards, weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins, narrows, narrow twins, and back again. Under Michelin, we've got standard, weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins, and back. So it's the Trelleborgs that have the narrows and the narrow twins, the Michelins don't. And under Nokian, we've just got standard communal. There's no other options on those. On PTO, on the back, we've got standard or with... I'm oh, sorry, not the back. On the front, standard or with front PTO. Then engine setup, we've got the T595, 99 horsepower. We've got the T5105 at 107 horsepower and the T5115 at 114 horsepower. And then we've got the option of front loader attacher, yes or no. Well, say yes or no. Stoll, power, and then no. Stoll, I think, is the standard one we have pretty much in-game. We do have a few Hauer attachments if you wanted to go for the Hauer one. Like so. Let's hop in. Born. Beacons. Lights.
very nice. L1, nothing. R1, right stick up and down, opens and closes the rear window, like so. L1 and R1, left stick side to side, opens and closes the door, the left door. And right stick up and down, opens the front window. So L1, R1 and right stick up and down, opens and closes the front window, like so. Those are our options four things we can do with it so that's with the front window open another nicely detailed interior very nice indeed so there we go that's the new holland t5 utility series by Blauer. Turn the engine off. I think that's everything. Pretty sure it is. Oh yes, we need to scroll through very quickly to the night and see these lit up, don't we? Bear with me just a moment. And so there you have it. The lights on on the lamps, that one with the double lights. I probably put them a little bit too close maybe to the candy canes, but you still can see when you get up to the candy canes nice and close. That one has got a green strip in it as well, glowing in the darkness, or in the light in this case. So you've got the green, red and white, and these ones are just the red and white. And that is it for this mod review. You may be watching this, like I say, it may come out on Friday morning. Apologies for the delay. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.